everybody. Welcome to So Fabulous's Stitch It Up. Today's tutorial is going to be on two feet that are really awesome. They're called side cutters. Do you have a style that looks like this? And you have one that looks just like that. So this one kind of reminds you of a walking foot. So it has to get put on just like a walking foot. So today what I'm going to do is show you how to, to attach them to your, your machine how to use them and you'll see exactly how it's going to look yes it surges yes it cuts the edges of your fabric off and it really looks cool you know it's not to take the place of the good old serger i love my sergers but it's simpler and it's cost effective especially you know if you can't spend two three four hundred dollars on a serger you can pop one of these on and get the same effect okay i'll be right back and i'm going to show you how to put it together okay so the first thing you're going to have to do is to remove this portion of your presser foot we're going to be using this side cutter first and as you can see it has this little part here I call that the claw. You want this claw to attach to the bar that's right here on your sewing machine. And then this piece here that you see here, it looks like this, goes around this portion here. But in order to put this one on, you have to take the whole part of your presser foot off. So I've already unscrewed the screw that's right here. And so I can just lift up and I'm just gonna pull it off. So this is that portion that when you wanna change your presser foot, you just push the little black button and it comes off. But we needed to take this off as well, all right? Now, like I said, this part here needs to be attached to the bar that's sitting out. And this can be a little, this is a little difficult, but it can be done. So I have the, the claw on my bar and I have my piece right into where the screw is here. And now I can tighten my screw. And so that it'll, won't come off. So sometimes the hands are better than the tools. So I just wanna make sure it's tight. I don't want it to pop off. All right, and so now I'm ready to sew. My foot is on my machine correctly. When I lay it down, it's gonna come back up. I can get the fabric underneath. Now, some of you may have a sewing machine that the shank here is a little shorter. They do have an added piece that you can get. It comes with my, I have a baby lock. And so I just can't put this on my baby lock just like this. I have to add this little extending piece here. So it's an added little screw. The bar piece of it here goes into this part here and then you tighten it and then you can go ahead and put this piece on and you're fine. So if you don't have this, you wanna purchase one of these in order to use this foot. In fact, if you get one of these, you can probably use a lot more feet on your machine if you have to have it, okay? Now on your machine, you're gonna have different stitches. One of the main ones you can use is of course your zigzag stitch, but you don't always have to use a zigzag for my brothers, I can look at my little designs here and I'm gonna try to turn the machine so you can see it a little bit better. That's perfect. So let me use this as my pointer. You can use your zigzag. You could use number 16 when the stitch looks like this. You could use 29, 22, 52. You could probably use 707 as well and 12. So you've got quite a few that you can use. I'm going to use number 16 for this machine. So I'm gonna key in 16 here. And now I'm ready to go. Now, the stitch length is gonna be 2.5 and the stitch width is gonna be 5.0. Remember your stitch length is how long your stitch is, the width is how wide, okay? So when you're getting ready to put your fabric in, I've already stitched the piece up so that we can use it. You wanna cut a small amount. I'm gonna move this back just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. You wanna cut a small amount of the fabric. So you wanna do maybe about an inch, definitely at least five eighths. You wanna have this little piece cut away so it looks like that, all right? 
turn it over of course your fabric always goes to the left when you place it into here this part the over the cut you just did goes where the blade is and this will be your guide to keep you from stitching or cutting too close to your your regular stitch all right so i'm going to lay this under and i'm going to pull the camera a little closer too so you can see exactly what i just did So here's the V again. I'm just gonna lay it under the presser foot and the V part right like that. Can we need to see that, right? You have the little piece sitting out here and the rest of the fabric is going up underneath the presser foot. Now, because I've changed my stitch, I wanna make sure that I have, that everything is clear, that when my needle goes down, it does not break any of my stitches. So you want to do a little tester, hit go on here, because there's a little bar that's under there. I'll show you the bar in a second. And there's car coming over. Looks like I'm clear. All right, and now I can start sewing, but I'm gonna go slow. Press the foot down, and then I'm going to sew. So I'm gonna turn this a little bit so I can see what's going on. All right, so I'm going to finish stitching this one. I'm going to stop the video to save on time, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so I'm done. I can take, lift up my presser foot, pull it off, and here is my stitch. Looks just like a surgeon's stitch, right? Not bad. So I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm going to change my stitch length so you can see that you can choose a little bit on you know, how wide you want each one of these stitches to be. Now, for this one, I don't really have much fraying, and if it really gets on my nerves, I can always just take my scissors and, and trim it off, all right? So, let's do one more with this foot, and then we're gonna go over like to the nail. So what I did was, here's our very first one, and remember I said I was gonna change the stitch length. When I change the stitch length, that's how much closer each one of the loops. Did. Then I went and changed my stitch style just to show you that you can use another stitch style to 29 and it's another one but what it does is it makes it really enhanced. So instead of doing a single stitch it's like double threaded for every one of the loops. So like I said you have a dip you have a lot of choices that you can do when using the serger foot. It's really really cool and it's clean and um, I really like using it. So let's move on to the next foot and I'll show you how to pop that one on as well. So now the new one that just came out, like I said, is a little different. It still has the little claw, still has the blade that's right in the front of it. And if I show you like this and I move this, you can see how the blade is going up and down and that's pretty much how it works. So we're gonna pop this one on and then I'll show you again. All right, really, really simple. You don't have to do everything. I've already returned the base back onto the machine we bring the, bring the screen up a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. And all you're doing is like a regular presser foot. Here's the little bar right here that you're going to be attaching it to. So you just lay that on. You may have to lift your presser foot up a little bit. Make sure that the claw is on the extended bar. With, and then boom, it's on. We are good to go. All right, so that's how you put this one on. Now I'm going to do a sample real quick so, so you can see how it works. I'm gonna go back to my normal, the, um, what did I do first, 16, just so you can see how it's gonna look as well. All right, so I've just finished this piece here. I'm pulling it off, and there is the second side cutter. Still pretty awesome, pretty awesome, okay? So, um, so when you are buying your side cutter, make sure that it's working with your machine. Make sure that it's going to fit. And like I said, if you have to, make sure you get your little added adapter so that you can add it to your machine. You can use all different types of feet to, I mean, different types of stitches that come on your sewing machine. Mine might be different than yours, but that's okay. Just look it up. Look in your book. Your book has um, all the different feed and what they're for. So that way you'll know exactly what to, to uh, use. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had fun making it. I love trying out new things and so should you. So if you have any questions or any um, problems with doing this, you know, send me an email, sofabulousewing.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Send me a review. Tell me what you think about our, our um, tutorials. And if you have something that you'd like to learn about, send that to me too. Thanks again for joining us and keep on sewing.